Number eight, Erica Boudreau. In June of 2020, a young woman was arrested for allegedly ramming into a man's truck and attempting to strike him with her car as he exited the vehicle. The road rage incident occurred right outside the Englewood Police Department in Colorado. The suspect was identified as Erica Boudreau, who'd left a tattoo parlor where she'd had a few drinks when a man in a pickup truck allegedly began following her and hurling insults at her. The conflict continued down the road until the driver of the truck pulled up to the parking spot outside the police station. As a neighbor later recounted to investigators, Boudreau then plowed her SUV directly into the parked truck, pushing it through a landscaped area and into a security wall. The truck driver climbed out of his vehicle, at which point Boudreau backed up before accelerating again in an attempt to strike him where he stood. The man ran into the station and Boudreau's SUV rammed into a light pole. She subsequently attempted to flee the scene on foot but was caught by Englewood officers. The woman faced a plethora of charges that included attempted first-degree assault, criminal mischief, DUI, reckless driving, and driving with a suspended or revoked license. Number 7. Cornelia Moore a 27-year-old woman was shot and killed during a road rage incident in Austin, Texas on September the 4th of 2021. The victim, identified as Cornelia Moore, had contacted the authorities at around 12.30 p.m. She went on to report that someone in a silver Dodge Charger was following her and engaging in road rage type behavior on Interstate 35. Moore claimed that the individual had struck her vehicle and then pointed a gun in her direction. While still on the phone with emergency dispatches, Moore was shot by the driver of the Charger, but was able to provide her location before she became unresponsive. Members of the Austin Police Department located the woman's car on the southbound service road of I-35. She had sustained a single gunshot wound that was ultimately pronounced dead at the scene, in spite of the life-saving measures performed on her by first responders. Homicide investigators were able to identify two suspects believed to have been in the Dodge Charger at the time of the shooting. APD arrested 32-year-old Tony McCulloch and Rafini McCorkle, aged 30, both of whom were charged with Moore's murder. The victim was honored by friends and family with a balloon release at Zilka Park on September the 9th. Number 6. Kimberly Ong and Ryan Arakaki, an incensed woman tailed a man who'd cut her off at a shopping center in Honolulu, Hawaii, and berated him while her young child was in the passenger seat of her car. The heated encounter between Kimberly Ong and Ryan Arakaki took place on September the 10th of 2014. The latter driver had cut in front of the woman at the Lua shopping center near Pearl Harbor, with the maneuver nearly causing a rear-end collision. The man's careless driving elicited a furious response from Ong who proceeded to follow him for an estimated five minutes. As she was tailing him, Ong shouted profanity-laden insults through her window and made obscene gestures towards the other motorist. Arakaki pulled out his cell phone and began to record the altercation. At one point in the conflict, Ong stepped in the middle of the road and exited her vehicle to confront the man. She stuck her head through his driver's side window and continued her expletive-filled rant, all while her young son waited in the car. After tensions died down and the two parties went their separate ways, Arakaki uploaded the video recording of the incident online, where it received hundreds of thousands of views. The man knowingly broke the law by using his cell phone while operating a moving vehicle, but he claimed that he wanted evidence of Ong's assault. Investigators deemed the woman's descent on Arakaki's car to have been unauthorized entry into a motor vehicle. Number 5. The Queen's Road Rage Robbery On May the 8th of 2021, an enraged driver assaulted and robbed two individuals during a traffic altercation in the New York City borough of Queens. The incident was recorded by nearby surveillance cameras, with the footage showing a white Nissan Sentra striking a grey Honda Accord at about 7pm. The 23-year-old driver of the Nissan got out of the car, as did his older male passenger. Giovanni Padin, aged 27, emerged from the Honda along with a female passenger and furiously demanded payment for the damage caused by the collision. Padin then attacked the two men, punching them in the face and 
knocking one of them to the ground. The suspect took the victim's cell phones as well as a wallet belonging to the older man, which reportedly contained an ID and bank cards. Padin and his female companion subsequently returned to his vehicle and sped away from the scene. NYPD investigators were able to positively identify Padin as the attacker and he was arrested on May the 12th. He was charged with multiple offenses in connection to the road rage event including second degree assault and second degree robbery. Number 4. Mia Renee Gamboa In September of 2021, a 24-year-old woman was taken into police custody after pointing a firearm at another driver during a road rage episode in Truckee, California. State Highway Patrol officers apprehended Mia Renee Gamboa of Merced just before 6 p.m. on September the 6th. While riding in a car on Interstate 80, Gamboa had reportedly become embroiled in a heated exchange with another motorist, whom she threatened with a handgun. At the time of the incident, the armed woman was sitting in the passenger seat of the vehicle while a man believed to be her boyfriend was driving. There were also three children in the car, none of whom belonged to Gamboa. Following the suspect's arrest, investigators searched the vehicle and allegedly found two guns, more than $10,000 in cash, and a bottle of Oxycontin pills that hadn't been prescribed by a doctor. The male driver was questioned by the police, but he was neither arrested nor charged with any crime. Gamboa was ultimately charged with brandishing a firearm, child endangerment, and possession of narcotics with the intent to distribute. Number 3. Richard Kamrowski and Mark Fitzgerald In January of 2019, two drivers were charged following a road rage incident on the Massachusetts Turnpike in which a man clung to the hood of an SUV as it drove for multiple miles. The confrontation unfolded after 37-year-old Mark Fitzgerald of Lynn swerved in front of Framingham resident Richard Kamrowski, aged 65, and bumped into his car. Fitzgerald attempted to take off following the collision, but Kamrowski stood in front of his vehicle in an effort to stop him. Nevertheless, the driver accelerated, prompting Kamrowski to jump onto the hood of the car to avoid getting run over. He reportedly implored Fitzgerald to stop driving, but he ignored the elderly man's pleas and continued driving down the highway for roughly three miles. Allegedly reaching speeds of up to 70 miles per hour, Kamrowski unsuccessfully tried to contact 911 with one hand while clinging to the windshield with the other. Fortunately, concerned bystanders boxed Fitzgerald's SUV in and forced him to stop moving, which allowed Kamrowski to safely climb down from the hood of the vehicle. The motorist was forced out of his car by an armed passerby, who reportedly had a license to carry a firearm. Fitzgerald was charged with assault with a dangerous weapon, while Kamrowski was charged with disorderly conduct. Today's topic was requested by Blackman JRPG, Queen of Your Soul, Mifit Blue, 83PLG, and Jasmine Gonzalez. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Condelario Gonzalez a Florida man fatally shot a fellow motorist during a road rage incident that went horribly wrong in July of 2015. The victim, 44-year-old Condelario Gonzalez, contacted the police about a reckless driver on the roadway during the evening hours of July the 23rd. Gonzalez decided to follow the other vehicle in his own car, inside of which sat his wife, daughter, and grandson. The other driver, who was identified as 51-year-old Robert Doyle, called 911 as well and reported that Gonzalez was trying to run him off the road. Both vehicles eventually reached the former's residence in Beverly Hills and Gonzalez blocked the homeowner's vehicle in his driveway. At about 10 p.m., Gonzalez stepped out of his car. Doyle, who was armed with a handgun, approached the man and fatally shot him at least five times in front of his family. An eyewitness told the authorities that Gonzalez was in the process of backing up when the gun was fired, but Doyle's wife claimed the other driver was charging her husband. Doyle then held the rest of Gonzalez's family at gunpoint until the arrival of Citrus County Sheriff's deputies. The shooter was ultimately arrested and charged with second-degree murder, in addition to three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Roughly a year after the incident had taken place, all the charges against Doyle were dropped. The decision followed a stand-your-ground hearing by a Citrus County judge who ruled that the man had acted in self-defense.
Number 1. The Hollywood Stunts Assault On September the 29th of 2013, a 33-year-old man was viciously attacked by a gang of motorcyclists on the Henry Hudson Parkway in New York City. The violent altercation was preceded by a 911 call made by Alexian Lian, who told operators that he'd witnessed a group of bikers run a red light and nearly hit a woman carrying a baby. Lian's wife had reportedly tossed a half-eaten plum and a water bottle at the motorcycles, prompting one of them to punch the driver's side mirror of Lian's SUV. A short while later, a biker allegedly pulled out in front of Lian and decelerated sharply, causing him to make light bumper contact with the motorcycle from behind. Within seconds, the scene devolved into chaos as other bikers charged Lian's vehicle, which was also carrying the couple's two-year-old daughter. The assailants proceeded to strike and kick the car, compelling Lien to accelerate in an attempt to escape. As he drove away from the scene, Lien ran over three motorcyclists, including a man named Edwin Mises, who suffered a fractured spine and a punctured lung. The bikers retaliated by pursuing Lien for several miles. The man's wife contacted 911 a total of four times during the eight-minute chase. While Lien was stopped at a red light, one of the bikers got close to his car and shattered the driver's side window with his helmet. Lien was then dragged from the SUV and beaten relentlessly by several of the bikers from the group. They allegedly tried to pull the man's wife from the car as well, but were unable to do so because she had her seatbelt on. Bystanders eventually stepped in and put an end to the assault, which left Lien with lacerations to his face and sides. A video of the entire incident was uploaded to Live Leak and subsequently received international attention. Some of the motorcyclists involved in the chase and attack were identified as off-duty police officers. Fifteen individuals were arrested in connection to the road rage event and eleven bikers were ultimately convicted. Thanks for watching. Would you rather be cut off by other drivers every time you're in a car or always? Sit next to someone on their phone at the movies. Let us know in the comments section below.